what? <laughs> it's an alcohol line. He like comes back from some cut in one of his games, and he can't figure out where he's going, and he just comes back and goes, um, and then I said, that's not my face, that's my wife. I wonder where we're supposed to... <laughs> just totally ridiculous. Isn't it great to travel through portals to other places? I always get end up all fuzzy after a portal trip. The good kind of fuzzy. Okay. Oh, there's another stadium. I like Monday Bossa Nova. Do you like Bossa Nova? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow down, sweetie. Looks like you got your employee card. You forgot how to use it? No worries, it's super simple. If you wish to save your progress, start by talking to me. You have to pay a small fee, of course. Don't worry, honey. It's a one-time only fee to unlock this location. Then it's forever free. So after paying, just head towards that green box over there and press the X button. And presto! Your progress has been saved. How about we give it a try? Come a little closer and talk to me. This feels like a scam. There's five coins to unlock the machine. Would you like to pay the fee? All done, sugar. Go to the green box to my right to something safe. Save your progress. That's the words. Have some complimentary coffee. Don't worry, sugar. It's on the house, heart. <laughs> really impressive that he's able to drink through that little slit in his mask. Yeah. That coffee over there restores your life and spirit with just one cup. It's like in real life. And best of all, it's completely free. Okay, first off, no, that's not like in real life. <laughs> and two, from your context, this is real life. <laughs> he's backwards. Going in reverse is not just a form of moving, it's a new philosophy or something. <laughs> what? So I started doing it to look smarter. What else did he say? Chicks dig smart. <sighs> you, you concern me. Chicks dig smart. I know what you said. Let me talk to the person behind you, weirdo. I told Savage that going in reverse is a deep philosophy for life. In order to impress some girls, you can't stop going backwards now. And I can't stop laughing! <laughs> so this is your fault. I know, I know, I'll tell him the truth. Actually. You're a dick. I mean, he's having a good time. We have a great selection of potions, upgrades, magic anvils, and more. Low prices, good products, no refunds. One of those doesn't fit. Evil store. <laughs> we don't have a shield. Sun burned. Can't move. 
<laughs> so <coughs> much pain. There's no way I'm going back to that forsaken island. <sighs> My poor shell. This castle's alright. Where was the manor, though? Our leader, the Baron, is a bit eccentric. Oh, just the Baron's a bit eccentric. Well, I'm glad we've narrowed down the eccentric one. You'll love him! So one criticism I have of this game is a similar thing I've seen in some other games, where a few people will have multiple dialogue options and then others won't, so you just kind of have to guess which ones are going to say more. <laughs> Moth forest. Okay. Telling me so soon. Fine, we're in some kind of cave or something. Wait. I've been here before. I was here with the previous year, not too long ago. We were just starting our adventure. <sighs> Let's go. Hold up, kid. See that weird artifact over there? Those are put there by an ancient being, or put there by ancient beings to aid the chosen one and yours truly in our quest to defeat evil. Same beings that created me. These eerie statues can record your progress as soon as we pass them. <laughs> to avoid losing progress, I recommend using save stations if you plan on switching save files. You got all that scarf, boy? I, I, I mean, kid? Keep that in mind, kid. So now you don't have an action scarf, but you do have an action hoodie. And you can fly with it. Not one more step! There's a town up ahead! Your kind is not welcomed in there. Oops. You don't want to go there, seriously. Up ahead, kid. Our first enemy. Sweet experience points, baby! Since you look like a wimp, I'm gonna have to teach you how to fight like a real hero. For better or worse, we are a team now, so you better pay attention. If you're struggling with an enemy, you can talk to me in battles with the left trigger button. Don't forget it! Now approach that monster. Class in session, kid. Don't worry, I'll keep it sweet and short. To begin with, down there you'll find a slick battle menu where you can do fun things, like attacking. That's your sword attack, fast and reliable. Now when I say go, use your sword attack with the X button. Ready? Go! That's it! Notice how that green bar over there went down when you attacked? That's your stamina meter. Attacking requires stamina points. Your sword attack needs three points in order to be used. If your stamina goes below three, you won't be able to move until it recharges. Keep that in mind. You can also hold back your attacks if you keep the button pressed down. Good for timing your attacks. Moving on. It's time for your enemy to attack them. But fear not. With careful timing, you can evade their attacks. What just appeared is your jump button. Use it to evade medium height attacks. When the lizard attacks, use your jump to evade its bite with the A button. Ready? Go! What? <laughs> nice! Whoa, did you see that? Your stamina was replenished when you evaded that attack. That's the most efficient way of recharging your stamina meter. Okay. If you're running low on juice, just evade some attacks, as you do in real life. 
Next is your crouch button. Use it to evade high attacks. This time I want you to pay close attention to the face of your enemy before they attack. And don't forget to evade the attack by holding down the L stick. Ready? Go. Did you see it? Your enemy pulled out their tongue right before they attacked. It's called a hint. Pay close attention from now on to all the different hints enemies show before an attack. And beware, they may have more than one attack too. Okay, lesson one is over. Time for a test, kid. Defeat that monster! Wow, I couldn't jump. Yeah, because you used up your stamina. Haha! <laughs> you thought I could duck, but I jumped! Groovy! You found a pot ion. If you get enough of them, you can plant some flowers. Hold down and press the jump button simultaneously to drop down from platforms like this. Dun dun. A classic. To walk, just move the L stick jelly. How would you not know how to walk by now? Oh, instead of running, I see. You need a silver key for this locked gate, kid. It's gotta be around here somewhere. And for more training, kid. This just occurred to me, but... You can totally talk to your enemies. You're all minions after all, but you can only talk before attacking your enemies. Learning new info is important to make habit of talking before attacking. Now, talk to that enemy by pressing the right D-pad. Lovely weather we're having, huh? A little bit chilly, though. Uh, good to know, I guess? Next up is your HP, up there. If that number reaches zero, game is over, obviously. So, to avoid early demise, you can use this. That's your potions button. You can use it to replenish 50% of your HP. To use it, you just press the left D-pad. So, uh... Your face is a mess, yo! You said what? I'm gonna say jumpy for that. Now, kid, use potion. There you go. Feeling better? You can use potions outside of battles, too. Press the Y button three times. One to show the HUD, and two more to confirm. Now, it's time for your... for desperate measures. If you feel like you need to flee a battle, well, you could bribe your foes. The only way to stop your enemies from attacking you is with money. The coins appear in the down right corner of the screen. Make sure you have enough. Fake coins to your enemies, just press the back button. Let's try it. Pay up. If you don't want to end up broke, you better fight your battles like I told you. Bribing grants less experience after all. After you pay them enough coins, they will leave you alone, and you won't be able to fight them again. That's it for now. Okay, back to battle. I think it's funny that they can also wear it. <laughs> Victory. 
We found a potion. So I wonder if there's like a pacifist path you can take where you just drive your way through all of them. <laughs> I'm guessing they just respawn when you leave. That might not be possible. And by respawn, I obviously mean other ones are hired to replace the ones you murdered. You don't have a double jump, but you do have a fall slower button. T-pose your way down the water, huh? That's what I would do if I were sinking in water, actually. I would T-pose. This is just not an opportune place for this. I mean, you both seem to be able to breathe underwater. that for some reason now your enemies all have to be so cute. Well, I didn't know this was the way forward. Going back. I'm a poop. Yeah, that! <laughs> you mean more potions? Maybe potions. So Maybe far, money. so far, potions. Yeah, hopefully money. I'm broke. Well, you're not broke. For this point in the game, you seem like you probably have a fairly decent quantity of money. You have the the Super Mario. I jumped you. You have the Super Mario World quantity of looking platforms. And stuff. Forgetting to talk to everybody. Oh, oops. Sorry, person. Those guys look so, like, Yoshi ish. Their necks move in funny when they attack. I like them. That's what I said. Everything here is cute. To destroy your life as well as your stamina when you're in a battle. You can sacrifice the potion if you're in desperate need of more stamina. Oh, the dilemma. No! <sighs> My bad. Patience. Patience. Was too much. No. Duck. I mean, I can't carry more potions. This is full of annoying puddles. At least you can avoid enemies more easily down there. Don't go avoiding all the enemies now. I told you that we need to get stronger. So you better start fighting. It's going to be a very short adventure. No! Money! <laughs> you can't do this to me, game. <laughs> Apparently the little pink fireball-y things are extra health. This is a weird game. 
It is. <laughs> and I feel bad for being the bad guy. Which is the good guy? The guy. Yes! You found a magic anvil. Oh, it's like a fly. I kept thinking it was the cursor going off the side of the screen. Oh. So if you're long potion, I'm exploring your for chests. It could save you when you're in a pickle. Oh, I grabbed myself out of stamina right before he attacked. You are correct. so eager all the time. All the time! Oh, oh. Both of these things. You murdered that snake friend. The big tree. Ah, there's the big tree. Ugh, oh, this tree's big. That's the Moth Queen's big tree. If we reach the top, we can take her on. It looks like they locked the door with a special lock, so it probably needs a special looking key. Let's find it. Oh, and by the way! If you happen to get stuck, you can read that journal of yours in the items menu. No, calm down. I didn't read it that much. You don't have a heroic sword either. That is indeed a big tree. You're not afraid of heights, or you're afraid of heights, aren't you? This isn't how you sink. Uh, it's both how you sink and swim. You go like this when you go up, though. Talk underwater. Oh, hey, you look like a good swimmer. Did you know you can fall faster underwater if you press the down button? Good advice. You're welcome. Bad advice. Stop. Man, it really does try to make you have to feel like shit for fighting the enemy. They are technically on your side. That's what I mean. You're kind of betraying the evil king. Yeah, but more specific. fine! Because he's kind of an asshole. But these guys yeah, don't these... seem to like him much either, to be honest. Found a cassette tape. He was at a save station. Attack points, more stamina points, and more hit points. I had a feeling that's the route you were going based on the fact you keep accidentally <laughs> running out of stamina. <laughs> This has major Paper Mario vibes. Man, you got 11 there. Did you see that? It says 11. <laughs> Silver key. Silver key. Huh. You know that falling faster advice actually came in handy. That's what I mean, he seemed like a nice guy. And then you just gotta be horrible because that's how this game's made. You remember where the silver key was used, right? Way back at the beginning? Way back at the beginning. Way back at the beginning. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Let's see if my hypothesis tests or rings true. That 
transitioned weirdly. See, that white thing keeps being really distracting. It does. Not an enemy in sight. Yeah, so you did. You murdered them. <laughs> they were your friends. To be fair, I don't think this character has friends. You can swim, right? I'll take that as a, I'm not that incompetent, you know? Oh, you can also glide over it, right? I've seen mask kids glide with their hoodies. Like some kind of hoodie shoots. When you're in midair, press the jump button to perform a glide. There, I gave you two options to proceed. I'll let you decide what to do. I'm not some control freak. Are you sure? Sword lady kind of crazy. Well, ain't this place pretty? No time for sightseeing, though. We got stuff to do. Why did the lock explode? That's what locks do, you know. If your lock explodes, then you got real problems. Because every time I open it, it's fine. Then what do you do when you need to lock it again? Lock it again? It exploded! It's, it's gone! <sighs> We'll be back. No! <laughs> Nothing so far has been back! You can play it at save stations. You can get cassettes from murdering people, and you can get them from boxes. I think I know, or I think now is a good time to teach you about defense. This is your shield, used for blocking and parrying enemy attacks. Cost one stamina point to use. Let's start by blocking an attack. Block an attack, simply raise your shield by holding down the right trigger button. Ready? Go. Talk to him. Why are you attacking me? I didn't attack you. Good. That green circle represents the shield's life. It seems like it took some damage already. Take too many hits and it will break. You can fix your shield with magic anvils outside of battles in your items menu. Or pay to fix it at the evil store. There's a better way to use your shield without breaking it. It's called a it's called parry. It consists of raising your shield right before an enemy hits you, and boom! Now your enemy is stunned and vulnerable to attacks. Plus, you regain a little stamina, too. Let's try it out, Ray. Go. So satisfying. Unlike blocking, parrying doesn't damage your shield, and it can even send back most projectile attacks. You can even parry and block while tired, especially useful if you're in a pinch. Enough chit chat. Defeat that monster! Can you talk still? Yoshi were a snake. And by a snake, I mean more like a yon tea. They do have feet. Oh no, it's a Mega Man tunnel. Yeah! 
You found an apartment key. Where does it lead? Uh, looks like this place has plenty of secrets. Better check everywhere. <laughs>